Hello, my friends. I hope that you are well and having a good day. Um, today, I'm here for a little bit of a music lesson for you. And today's um, focus is going to be on rhythm. So at the beginning of the school year, the very beginning, like in August, a long time ago, um, we talked about how music is everywhere. And you can find music anywhere you go. And one of the examples that I gave was that um, you know, you can hear rhythm in a lot of places you go. You can hear the rhythm of the um, washing machine, or you can hear the rhythm of, you know, your feet clacking on, on the pavement as you walk down the street. So today, we are going to walk around our houses. I'm going to ask you to walk around your houses and find some things that you can make rhythms out of. Okay, so I um, today have a bowl and some spoons. I'm sorry, parents, this might get a little um, loud. This is what we do in music class, is we uh, make uh, music together. And this will be music. It might not sound like music, but everything is music. Um, I have spoons, but um, I also have um, really cool drumsticks. So if you've got drumsticks, you can use you can use those too. But I'm going to use spoons, because I think everybody's got those. And yes, real quick before, so I can get out of the way. I did buzz my head, head. I got a really short haircut now. Most of my kids have not seen me like this ever before. My hair is usually long and curly and stuff, but it was getting bushy and it needed to go, so I got some clippers and I shaved my head. So I like it. Anyway, okay, so um, we are going to, just like my regular classroom, I don't know what I did with my marker. Huh. Here's one. Let me see if I can find the black. Oh, it's in my pocket. Just like in my normal classroom, it's in my pocket. I bet all my friends are laughing in my pocket. Okay, so um, we can make rhythms out of anything. So all around my bedroom, I have all sorts of stuff that I can turn into rhythm. So um, I have this cowboy hat, okay? Um, all of our words, have things called syllables. That's a big word. Probably my friends in third, fourth, and fifth grade might know that word. Um, and we can split our words down into little rhythm things. So I have cowboy hat, cowboy hat, and I can turn that into rhythm. Sounds like this. Cowboy hat, cowboy hat, cowboy hat. Okay, so I'll write that word out on my nifty little board here. Put hyphens. Cowboy hat. Okay, so that's our word, and we can make rhythm out of that. Cowboy hat. Cowboy hat. Cowboy hat. I also in my bedroom have a shoebox. 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 Shoe box. I can take my words. Shoe box. I can play them like so. Shoe box. Shoe box. So I can take my words cowboy hat and shoe box, and I can combine them together to make a little bit of a longer, more fun thing to play on my drum. It sounds like this. Cowboy hat, shoe box. Cowboy hat, shoe box. Cowboy hat, shoe box. So what are some things that you might have lying around your house um, that we could include? I'll bet you some of you have teddy bears. Pause the video right now and go find some things in your house, some things that are small that you can easily grab, and let, and um, try turning those things into rhythms like I did with my cowboy hat and my shoebox. All right, so go ahead and pause and go find maybe some toys that you know that you like and, and bring them, and um, let's make some rhythms out of those things, okay? Okay, so I went around and I um, found some more things. So I have my crown, and I also have my tambourine. 
remember this from the last video, tambourine has the jingles on it. Okay, so if I have tambourine and crown, I want to make this I want to make the word crown have two sounds. So here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna I'm gonna um, have it be crown. Shh. I'm gonna add a little bit of a shh sound. Okay. So if I were to play these two words together, tambourine and crown, I could play it on my drum with my spoons like this. Tambourine, crown. Shh. Tambourine. All right, so my friends that are in preschool and kindergarten, why don't you see if you can find some more things that you can make some sounds out of? Maybe your name, like my name, Mr. Massini. Mr. Massini. See, it's got rhythm. Everybody's name's got ha has rhythm. Okay, pre kindergarten friends, we did this before. I had you clap the, the rhythm of your name. Super fun. But the rest of my friends, my friends who are in first, second, third, fourth, and fifth grade, we can take. Um, these words, and we can add our different notes that we know to go along with them. Okay, so I'm going to give myself a little bit more room. Okay, so we know a lot of different notes. We know ta's, we know tt's. And we know rests, which are our shh, okay? So these are the ones we're going to focus on right now. Ta, ti, ti, and rest. I want you to think about how we could use our rhythm symbols to help us create a little rhythm passage that we can play on our drums using our notes. So let's think about it together. Tambourine, crown. Shh. Tambourine, crown. Shh. So let's think about the word tambourine. What do you think the two tambo, tambo, what do you think that's going to be? Ta, ti, ti, or sh? I think probably ti, ti. Tambo, ti, ti. And then what about reen? Tambo, reen. Tambo, reen. Reen. Which of our um, three things that gets one sound? One note that gets one sound. Ta, right? So our first word, tambourine, is going to be ti, ti, ta, tambourine, 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 ti, ti, ta, ti, ti, ta, ti, ti, ta, ti, ti, ta. And then how about crown? How many sounds do you hear on the word crown? Just one, right? So what of our notes, ta, ti, ti, or sh, gets one note or one beat? Ta, right? So we have ta, crown. And then what, and then what about sh? What do you think probably we're going to use for sh? Which of our notes makes the sh sound? Ta, ti, ti, or rest? Rest, right? That one's easy. Quarter rest for my friends who are in third, fourth, and fifth grade. Not just rest, quarter rest. So if I use my words tambourine, crown, sh, tambourine, crown, sh, I can also think about that in music and, and play ti, ti, ta, ta, sh, ti, ti, ta, ta, sh, ti, ti, ta, ta, sh. All right, so now I'm going to give you a little bit of independent time. My first, second, third and fourth grade friends. Um, my friends who are in preschool and kindergarten, if you're still watching the video, you can play these these words just like we are, but you don't know what these little symbols mean yet. Okay, you don't you'll learn t t ta and sh when you get into first grade. Right? My first grade friends that we spent a lot of time on t t ta and sh this year. Daddy. Okay, so Let's try some new words. 
and then I'm going to give you some time to do some on your own. I'm going to inspire you. So, unfortunately, we can't go out to the grocery store right now, but there's lots of items at a grocery store that we can think of um, that we could add some of these things to. This is what I did with my first grade friends. Um, we did, we've done this activity before, first grade friends. Um, so, let's think of some of our favorite foods that we can get at the grocery store. Like hot dog, pizza, How about ice cream? And how about gummy bears? All right, so I have hot dog, pizza, ice cream, gummy bears. So let's think about the word hot dog. Hot dog. Think about it if that's fast or slow. Hot dog. So each word gets one sound. Hot dog. What do we think that we're going to use for the word hot dog? Ta, ti, ti, or res. Hot dog. So not hot dog, but hot dog. Slow. Hot dog. I think that we should use ta's or quarter notes for each word in hot dog. Hot dog. Hot dog. What about pizza? Pizza. Not pizza, but pizza. Also very slow. Hot dog pizza. What do you think? Ta, T, T, or rest? Definitely not rest, right? Because we can still hear sound. Hot dog pizza. I think we should use ta's or quarter notes for each of those as well. Hot dog pizza. What about ice cream? Not ice cream, but ice cream. Slow. This one should be easy. We've done that one a lot. Probably also quarter notes, right? Because we're going nice and slow. Hot dog. Pizza. Ice cream. Now we get to one that's a little bit different. Hot dog. Pizza. Ice cream, gummy bear. Gummy bears. What do you think about the word gummy? Gummy. Fast or slow? Gummy. Fast, right? So would we use TT or TA for gummy? Probably TT, right? For eighth notes. Eighth notes. What about for bears? Ha, da, pizza. Ice cream, gummy bears. How many sounds do you hear? Bears. Just one, right? So what is a note that we know that gets one beat and is only one note? Quarter notes, right? So we're going to use another ta there as well. So there we have it. We have our grocery store list, and we have it all written out as a rhythm passage. So it sounds like this. Hot dog pizza, ice cream gummy bears. Or in music notes, ta, 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 ti, ti, ta. Fine, right? Okay, so at this point, I'm going to have my first and second grade friends stop the video and try to think of some more grocery items that you can add to your grocery lists. And try and figure out if you should use ta's and tt's or rests for the items that you're going to add to your grocery list, just like we did here. Okay.
All right, so my friends that I should have left watching the video are my third, fourth, and fifth grade friends. And we're gonna add another, um, we're gonna add another note to use um, for our activity. We're gonna start going a little faster. Okay, so you, you know a lot more notes. I think that my friends in third, fourth, and fifth grade all know eight or nine different types of notes, and there's not many more than that. But the ones that I want you to focus on right now are quarter note, ta, quarter rest, ch, two eighth notes, ti, ti, or four sixteenth notes. This is the newest one for my third, fourth, and fifth grade friends. Four sixteenth notes. What does this sound like? Third and fourth grade friends, especially, would know this. My fifth grade friends obviously know this too. This is tiri tiri. Remember, so we have ta sh ti ti tiri tiri. Ta sh ti ti tiri tiri. Quarter rest. Eighth note, sixteenth note. Okay. okay, so let's think of some more grocery store items that we can add to our list that might include some teary teeries that you can play. So um, I have one in mind. Last time we heard, just a couple minutes ago, we used pizza. How about pepperoni pizza? Let's write out the words first, Mr. Messini. And don't judge my spelling. I'm not doing spelling homework like you guys are. Pepperoni pizza. And then how about watermelon? Watermelon does not have an H. Watermelon slice. Let's think about this one together. How many different sounds do you count in the word pepperoni? Pepperoni. 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 Four different sounds, right? Pepperoni. So what is a type of note that we know in third, fourth, and fifth grade that is one note that has four different sounds. One beat, four different sounds. Let's think about it. Pepperoni, 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 pepperoni. Teary, teary, right? We can use 16th notes, bam, 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 for our word pepperoni. So if I grab my spoons and my bowl, pepperoni, 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 teary, 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 okay? And now we are going a little bit faster. So let's think of pepperoni pizza, not pepperoni pizza, pepperoni pizza. What do you think? Pepperoni pizza. Pepperoni pizza. Pizza. How many sounds do you hear? Pizza. Two, right? So what's a note that we know that is two notes that get one beat? Eighth notes, right? So I could add T T to that. So my first line. Pepperoni. I didn't have any clap back. Tiri tiri ti ti tiri tiri ti ti. That's pretty fast. All right, so we have our first line: pepperoni pizza. Actually, I don't need this shirt over here. Pepperoni pizza. What about the word watermelon? Watermelon. How many sounds do you count? Watermelon. So we just worked on this one. What's a note that we know that gets one beat, but is four notes? Watermelon. One beat, watermelon, but four notes, watermelon. T, 
teary teary, right? We used it for the word pepperoni. So let's add a teary teary underneath the word watermelon. Pepperoni pizza, watermelon. Watermelon. What about the word slice? Watermelon slice. 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 How many sounds do you hear on the word slice? One, right? So if I were to add one note that gets one beat, what type of note would that be? Quarter note, right? Band. So we got it all done. Here's our third, fourth, and fifth grade shopping list that we're going. Today at the store, if we were able to go to the store, we would get pepperoni pizza, watermelon slice. Just one slice of watermelon. We don't get more than one, just one. Pepperoni pizza, watermelon slice. So if I were to play this rhythm on my drum, it would sound like this. Pepperoni pizza, watermelon slice. Pepperoni pizza, watermelon slice. Pepperoni pizza, watermelon slice. Pepperoni pizza, watermelon slice. Or teary teary tea tea teary teary ta. 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 Pretty cool, huh? All right. So for my friend, my friends in third, fourth, and fifth grade, what I want you to do is I want you to think of some more grocery items that you can add to your list and see if you can think of any items that you can add that have that you could have teary teary's with them. Okay? So here's what I want you to do. I want you guys to, and if my first and second grade friends are still watching too and trying your best to follow along with a new note that you guys don't know yet, make some grocery lists or maybe walk around your house and see if you can um, find some objects in your house that you can make rhythms out of um, and write down the names of those items. So just like I did, pepperoni, pizza, watermelon, slice. And then what I want you to do is I want you to draw the notes underneath all of the different words to see if you can match the names of the words to the rhythms. Okay? And remember, I want you to do either 16th notes, 8th notes, quarter notes, or if you find some words that only have one sound and you want to add some breaths at the end of them, you can too. Okay? My first and second grade friends, you're just going to focus on T, T, Ta, and Sh. You'll learn about Tiri Tiri in third grade. All right, so that's all I have for you, my friends, today. I really, really miss you guys. I hope that you're staying musical and that you are, in, um, you know, drinking lots of water and getting a lot of rest, um, getting, getting your schoolwork done. Remember, it's really important that you're getting a hold of your teachers every single day, okay? Um, except on the weekends. You still get your weekends, just like normal. Um, I miss you all so much. Um, I'm sad that I won't get to see you again until August. Um... I miss you. I'll see you soon, okay? Bye.